I play Professor Allison Stone. She's a professor of climatology and meteorology. So she's an academic, and I think her experience of all of these um, of all of these weather events has been primarily an academic experience, and she teaches it and she studies it, and she's. Uh, She's a pretty profound environmentalist, and so I think she comes at this from the perspective of thinking, if we can get people more aware of what's going on with climate change, then we can generate public demand for legislation and reforms and things. So she joins this band of storm chasers, um, and they're all crazy. <laughs> they're nuts, and they do, they take risks that I think she is as the person with the science and the knowledge of what really could happen, I think she's very uncomfortable with some of these risks. The found footage aspect of it is, is again, one of the reasons that I kind of wanted to do it. In a way, it's an experimental film, because we're trying to answer the question, can you shoot a big budget effects movie with two flip cams? <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I think in a way, it, it reduces the distance between the audience and the story. And because we live in a culture where there's an event on the news and then there's 50 clips on YouTube within 10 minutes of it all, um, there's something interesting in a transition away from the huge cameras, the big setups, the blah, 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 and just to have the cameraman running with us. To the extent that the antagonist is the weather, um, it's the most frightening thing on earth, right? Because it's, it's real. You can't blow it off. It's not zombies. I've worked a little bit with zombies. It's not ghosts. It's not vampires. It's, it exists. It's there. And it's unpredictable, infinitely more powerful than you are, and utterly arbitrary. It's compassionless. You know, if a man's got a gun in your head, you might be able to talk him out of it. I have kids. I, please don't shoot me. There's a cop behind you, whatever. There's no, uh, there's no emotion. There's no feeling. I showed up one of the first days to set, and there are these huge cranes. I mean, the largest cranes I've ever seen. I was like, what are those for? They're like, those are the rain towers. And I was like, of course they are. We have rain towers. How long are the rain towers with us? Every day. OK. That's great. Um, so they rain on you. And then they have these fans that look like jet engines. And they call it the 100 mile an hour fan. And I thought that was a joke until they turned it on me and it blew me 10 feet off my mark. Like, I mean, I honestly, with every muscle in my body, was trying to go that way. And I ended up over there. And uh, it's, it's um, you don't have to act. Just say your words in the middle of that with your hair going like this and the rain coming down. And, and the debris is fun because it turns out, and again, things I didn't know before I started the movie, it turns out that a leaf that's wet coming 100 miles an hour at your face feels exactly like somebody backhanding you. The breadth of Steve's experience is extraordinary, right? I mean, he, he comes up with James Cameron, and he's worked on Avatar, and he's worked on Titanic. So he's got a sense of these enormous, big budget, sweeping stories that are at their heart, very simple love stories. And then he's got experience doing documentaries and kind of being embedded and, and doing things uh, very on a very small scale to try and, try and tell a very powerful story. And he's kind of trying to bring those things together. 